Hi, this is Scoggett, and uh, just wanted to let everybody know that I'm uh, going to come back and start making videos again, that I wasn't gone. I uh, looked at some of the comments, but I haven't had time to, uh, like, get back with all the comments, because I answered every comment, and it's going to take me a little bit to get back uh, to everybody. There's been speculations that I, I'm dead. Well, I'm not dead yet. I mean, if I'm dead, then I don't know about it. Uh, I know it's been a while since I've posted a video, uh, almost a month. And I'll give you a little bit of background of what happened to me. Is, uh, of course, everybody knew that I had a verotrous uh, de de detachment in my left eye. And uh, that one, I uh, want well, a rotrous detachment, it will uh, heal itself. The only bad thing about that is if it uh, causes a retina to detach. Now, there's a 10% chance that it would uh, cause the retina to detach, and a 90% chance that it wouldn't. And I, I was, well, with my luck, I was in the 10% and I had the uh, retina detach. So I'll give you a little bit of background on what happened on July 4th. Uh, got up and uh, the vision in my uh, left eye was uh, almost completely gone. It was, it was uh, just like a gray, uh, gray uh, curtain uh, covering it. I couldn't see out of it. I couldn't see nothing. I was I was blind in that eye, and so I got Mrs. Scoggett to take me to the emergency room, and went to the emergency room. They got me in and looked at it, and told me that I did have a retinal detachment, and I was going to have to have a surgery uh, to to get it repaired. So that was on the 4th of July. Uh, I was at the emergency room from about 10 in the morning till about five that evening. Uh, they sent me uh, home, told me to take it easy, and they set up the surgery for the next day. Okay, I uh, called them up next day. They had the surgery set up uh, for some time that afternoon. Well, it ended up going into the evening which uh, there's nothing I can do about that. And uh, let me give you a little background on what a retina does. A retina uh, is what controls your vision. That's what it enables you, a person to see is the retina. The retina, I'm, I'm not going to get into any big terms because I've researched it and looked at it on the internet. I can't even pronounce the uh, words what they have on there. I don't know what they mean, so I'm not going to go that route. Just going to tell you basically that it uh, controls your vision. I mean, without the retina, and once it detaches uh, your vision, you lose your vision. I mean, you go blind. So it's got to be re reattached. And so that, uh, get back to the surgery that evening, uh, they went ahead and uh, performed the surgery. It took two hours long uh, to do it. Surgery took two hours, and uh, I was awake whenever they did the surgery. Uh, they didn't put me all the way under. They put me uh, under where I'm kind of like, I'm sleepy, uh, in and out of sleep, don't really know what's going on, but I do know what's going on. It's kind of weird to explain, but it's like, uh, kind of like uh, you don't really, uh, it's not affecting you. It just, it's kind of weird. But anyway, I got through the surgery and, and that was uh, later that evening and came out the doctor. I have one of the finest doctors. Uh, uh, he just, he's fantastic. He's a uh, retina specialist is what did the surgery. And he is just, uh, he really knows his stuff. And uh, while doing it, he checked the other eye. And uh, after I got out of surgery and and really it was the next day because I, they sent me home 
I've had this uh, like a eye guard on it, which I still use. Eye guard on my left eye, and they sent me home. Uh, I tried to sleep a little bit. Uh, got up the next morning, went to uh, the doctor, and that's when he explained everything uh, on it. He said I did have a, a retina detachment, but he said I didn't just have one. He said I had six retina detachments in, in my eye, and he repaired uh, some of them with laser, and uh, instead of going like a gas uh, route, there's a gas route and silicone oil, they put the silicone oil in my eye, so I still got the silicone oil in it, which is going to uh, cause another operation for the oil to come out. And then he told me there's uh, another operation to remove cataracts because the silicone oil will uh, cause cataracts, so um, I'll have to have another surgery, so I'm looking at two more surgeries. Hopefully that's it. Uh, I asked him about my eyesight coming back, and he said that right now, he said it's too, too soon to uh, tell, but he said everything looks good. I've been going to him every week. Uh, to, so he can look at it, see the progress and everything. The hardest part about this surgery uh, wasn't the surgery itself, it's uh, what you have to do afterwards. Afterwards, what, what you have to do for anywhere from two to three weeks, and I went three weeks doing this, which was uh, equivalent to 20 days, is you have to look at the floor. You have to yeah, keep your head down, looking at the floor. Uh, you can do that 50 minutes, uh, and then after uh, after 50 minutes, you can lift your head up, kind of move your neck, because it does take a uh, toe on your neck. It, it's like your neck is really hurting. I mean, it's really sore and hurting. And you can move your neck around a little bit and stuff, but after the 10 minutes, then you got to put it down again. So uh, in order to sleep, what you have to do is you have to sleep uh, with your head hanging off the bed looking at the floor uh, either on your stomach or side I try to can't really sleep on my stomach so I try to sleep on my side I don't get any sleep at all hardly you might get a couple hours and then I was up uh, for a couple hours and go to sleep for 30 minutes up again and it just constantly like that for 20 days um, I, I'm sleeping better now since I can move my head around, but I still can't lay on my back or tilt my head all the way back. Because if I do that, the oil's going to shift and it's going to uh, detach. So I'm still limited to what I can do and how I can move my head. So what I do is I just uh, sleep on my side with my nose towards the pillow. And uh, Mrs. Coggett has been great. I mean, I don't know what I'd do without her. Uh, during the surgery, she just uh, she really helped me pull the, uh, pull this through. I mean, I helped, well, she was with me. I felt like she was having the surgery with me. I mean, that's how how uh, extensive uh, her care was to me. Uh, she'd get up and get things to me, and she would uh, just she'd cook for me. Since I can't couldn't cook, and I, lo I love to cook, can't make no barbecue. Haven't had a barbecue in a month, and I'm fixing a go nuts here and haven't had a Lone Star in, in a month either uh, just I'll be back on my feet soon and uh, I asked the the doctor how long would it take before I get my sight back uh, right now I have blurred vision in in this eye but but I can I can see out of it but everything is blurred like if I take my glasses off and look at the camera I can see the camera and see what's going on but I can't there's no detail to it and it's kind of wavy looking and same thing with the tripod and if I look around the room I can I can make out what things are like a box or, or a, a, a can or something to that effect I just can't read I mean what it is and it's just uh, really really uh, hard to be like that when you have one one eye what was uh, pretty good. Oh, and something else is, uh, I, I don't know if I mentioned, I, I I don't think I did, but he would check this eye and he found two tears in it. So they were fixing to detach. 
and he went ahead and repaired them with laser. They're doing great. Uh, so uh, hopefully that's that's the end of that. And I'll, if this, this eye goes, I'll have one eye. What I can still use. Thing about it is, it's a carry a weapon, and I'm left-handed, so I'm like kind of left eye dominant in in my shooting. So we'll have to see how that goes. And right now I'm just going to. Uh, take it easy. I'm not going to pr uh, push myself to do anything strenuous or push myself to, uh, you know, uh, I'm just going to take it easy. Uh, I'll be making videos now and then. Uh, it's it's not going to stop me from doing that. I'm still going to make my videos and everything. and uh, So I'm have, I haven't given that up. And that's that's what's good. And uh, by reading the comments, I'm just amazed at the concern of all the uh, viewers and subscribers. And that's really that's really uh, makes makes me feel good. I'm doing something right out there. I mean, uh, when you have that many people backing you and uh, concerned about what happened to you and everything, it's just uh, fantastic. And I had my real good friend, which is a viewer and subscriber, Mr. James Ross. Uh, give you a shout out there, James. I appreciate everything you do. And and uh, he called me twice. Uh, didn't see me on uh, YouTube and uh, got concerned, so he called me by my uh, phone. And uh, me and him chatted. I uh, explained the situation to him and everything. And uh, he just uh, told me to take it easy and he hopes my mind gets better. And what's uh, also bad about the time when the detachment happened is I had my good friend uh, and uh, uh, which also has a YouTube channel, uh, Big Reggie. Big Reggie uh, came down and we did a few things uh, uh, before the detachment. After the detachment, I was like, uh, that was 4th of July. We had stuff planned for the 4th of July and uh, it didn't work out. I had to have to go to emergency room and, and uh, everything. And uh, uh, we did have some good times when, we, when he was here, though, because we had a few days before all this happened. And that's, I'm thankful for that, that I, uh, he didn't make the trip for nothing. And he uh, uh, is another one, but just uh, he's fantastic. I uh, want to know if he could help in any way. And, and everything and that's uh, just uh, makes a person feel good. I mean, when you have uh, people like that, and like uh, subscribers on your channel, what well, they don't even know you, but uh, they're concerned because they haven't seen you making a video or something. And it just makes you feel, gives you a good feeling inside. There's good people out there, good people on YouTube. So I'll I'll be back and. And everything, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you this eye. I, I don't know my camera is not as not that high def or anything. But I'll show you how it's looking, and uh, I don't know if you can see it or not, but that's the way it looks after surgery. It's all red and and just uh, swollen, and everything, and that's for a month. And like I say, without my glasses, if I close this eye, it's all blurry. It's it's like. Blurred, blurred vision. Maybe once the silicone uh, oil comes out, maybe it'll straighten up and I can get some of my sight back. And that's what I'm hoping for. Just can't. Uh, Got to hope for the best. Can't dwell on the worst. And uh, I'm handling it pretty good. I mean, I'm not freaking out or anything. It's uh, just one of those things I have no control over. Uh, kind of looking on the internet, it said that uh, out of 100,000 people, uh, 100 will get a retina detachment. So, I mean, them are, odds are not that high. And I hope nobody ever, ever does get a retina detachment. I don't wish that on nobody. Uh, it's just, uh, it's a hard surgery, hard things to deal with when you can't lift your head, you can't watch TV, you can't. Uh, do anything. You got, I just stayed inside. I mean, I can't go outside. Uh, can't walk around because I can't lift my head up, find out where I'm going, or run into something. Uh, I'm back now, though, where I'm, I'm, I am driving, 
uh, driving I drove just a little bit I'm not driving very far just uh, trying to get used to everything and I'm where I can watch TV and uh, have one one side well it's a, kind of a blur I mean it's not clear but at least I can watch something and uh, kind of weird because you got one eye what's what's bad and one guy I what's good got one out of focus and one in focus so it's kind of just I don't know, it's just a weird feeling. And hopefully I'll get back and uh, everything. I'm going to go to uh, back to work on this coming Wednesday, which I'm glad. Uh, they've been uh, fantastic over there at work and, and uh, giving me all, a lot of support. Uh, just a lot, a lot of thoughts and prayers there. People contact me and wish me the best and, and just uh, work at a real good place. Uh, good, good place to work. All, all my blue line brothers and sisters out there, uh, feel makes you feel good inside when uh, they give you all the support. They come over and uh, visit. They uh, bring stuff to eat, and it's just it's it's fantastic. Uh, don't realize you have, have that many real real good friends until uh, you have something like this happen, and that's not. Oh, it never happens to anybody. Uh, I, like I say, I don't re wish a retina detachment on anybody. Uh, a person's sight is kind of funny when you think about it, where you go through all your life and you're, uh, some people are like, oh, I can't uh, afford this brand new Corvette and I can't do this and do that. And we never really, uh, stop and think how lucky we are. I mean, we have our eyesight. That's, to me, is worth uh, any amount of, of gold or, or money. I mean, if someone offered me a uh, hundred million dollars and said, uh, 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 you know, uh, you'll lose your sight, but you'll have a hundred million dollars, I'd, I'd rather take my sight. I don't know. There might be some people out there who have big deference with me, but not me. I mean, my sight is, is uh, uh, real precious and sometimes we just don't think about things like this until something like this happens and then it gives you a whole new perspective on just how fortunate a person is they might not have the best in the world might not uh, might think that everything is down and every everything is like uh, there's nothing going for them but then you got to stop and think well I still have my sight I can still walk I can still talk I can still function, my mind's there. Uh, so really, in a way, you do have just about everything, everything you need to uh, do, get out there and do what you need to do. Uh, I know this is a long video and, and I'm going to go ahead and cut it short, but I just wanted all you viewers and subscribers out there to know what uh, happened to me and, and uh, I didn't desert the channel and I'm not dead. Um, uh, still alive, uh, but that's well, that was some rumor on on the channel. Uh, but I'll have more videos coming uh, soon. And uh, uh, like I say, I appreciate all your viewers and subscribers, and I appreciate all your support out there. And uh, that's that's about it. And I'll keep everybody informed on the progress of the surgery and how well I'm doing. But right now, I'm, uh, I think I'm, I've come a long way from being blind to being able to see a little bit out of it. So that's that's the accomplishment in itself right there. And like I say, I have one of the best doctors around what took care of my eye. And I still go see him and he's just, he's fantastic. Uh, this is Coggett and uh, appreciate all, all you viewers and subscribers out there. And I'll have more videos coming up. And I uh, hope this uh, video didn't bore you. And uh, y'all take care.